The one thing that had struck her as odd was that she could find no news articles about him, nothing mentioning a missing wife. And uh, that was the point of the book where I said, okay, maybe this might get better. The Stranger in the Mirror by Liv Constantine, and it didn't get better. It was, uh, yeah, all you had to do was uh, do a simple background check. All you had to do was call the police. And this whole book, it was, uh, I thought the world of time was fantasy. No, this is a fantasy book. Uh, the Stranger in the Mirror. Let me start with what it's about, I guess. Um, oh, spoilers, of course. I'm going to go through the whole story. It's so ridiculous. You're going to have trouble keeping up. A woman uh, wakes up on the side of the road, gets picked up by a truck driver, a nice truck driver, uh, you know, and he is a uh, shout out to uh, truckers for tr against trafficking because they do mention that in this book. Truckers Against Trafficking is a real organization and human trafficking is awful and should be stopped. And that's for a whole nother story. But uh, yeah, uh, she gets picked up by this truck driver and uh, he's a nice man. He takes her home uh, to his wife and they care for her, never calling the police. You know, you find somebody beat up on the side of the road, you might want to call the police. And anyways, they... Uh, Figured out that she lost her memory. They don't know who she is. They help her steal the identity of a dead baby with some fake IDs. It gets more ridiculous, don't worry. You know, they just happen to know people who know how to do these things. And they make it sound simple. But I'm sure, you know, and I've seen some documentaries where people fake IDs. But that was like in the 70s, the way they did this. I don't think they could do it nowadays. But neither here or there. Let's get back. Uh... She, so she lost her memory and two years go by, she meets a guy, falls instantly in love with him. He's a rich dude, rich, you know, who knows what his family, I can't remember what his family does, but they own a mansion, you know, super rich. The mom doesn't like her because of course, you know, she doesn't have a memory. And the whole time she's like that too, you know, I don't have my memory, you know, who am I? How can I love this person if I don't have my memories? Da, da, da. But, uh, you know, they get engaged and uh, she becomes a photographer and has a gala where her ex-husband, her, her husband, you know, finds her. When she went missing, she had a husband and a, and a kid, you know, and they couldn't find that she had a kid because it was a surrogate. OK, I bought it. And uh, and he take and the husband says, I'll take you home. Let's relive the memories. Da, da, da. And uh Turns out the husband kidnapped her, drugged her, uh, implanted these memories in, in her because she's he's some kind of psychiatrist. And I guess psychiatrists have the power to implant. Well, you know, and that's the thing with this story, too. They do a lot of the, you know, um, we call m memories, you know. And lately I've heard that a lot of people like that's all bullshit. The, the whole thing that you could... Uh, reclaim your memory or that you had a hidden memory you know a lot of people got in trouble for molesting people that they never molested and a whole bunch of trauma with this and so and this book this book is pretty problematic the way it treats trauma and depression and anxiety and mental health in general and where was i yeah he kidnapped her turns out that he uh the the husband from her old life actually kidnapped her because he killed his other wife who figured out that he mind manipulated to her and uh yeah it just kept on going from there and uh you know he uh he was drugging her replaced her mind it was very very hallmark very ncis svu kind of you know everybody's a and then you know she escapes well this story just goes off the rails, honestly, you know, and then it was a bad book. I keep on wanting to find a book like this or not necessarily a Reese Witherspoon book or like an Oprah book, but one of those books that, you know, middle class American women read, I guess, or like daytime drama, I guess, to them. But why, how, why does it have to be written so poorly? You know, not that it was written poorly. It was very easy to read. You know, it can't be more than high school level. And then that's another thing, you know, it says that this book is uh, 320 pages or whatever. It's really 150 pages, maybe, if you cut out all the the way it's written and everything. One of those books that, like, they try to be smart. 
it's just really disappointing, you know. And, uh, you know, she gets back her memory. And the reason why she got into the side of the road anyways was because she found out that her, the husband was manipulating her. And then she runs off. She gets picked up by another truck driver who then tries to rape her. She runs. She fights him off, runs into the woods and knocks her head. And that's how she loses her memory. And, yeah, there was just poorly written, like... I guess I should maybe I should just give up on these kind of books. I the last three I read were were just like this. It was uh, the luckiest girl alive, and then I read the where the crab dog sings, and they both you know they were all right. They were written all right. They just had huge plot holes in it, and this whole book could have been solved. Like I said, oh how come she never? How come this husband never had uh, filed a missing complaint about his wife, and they never follow up on it. You know, your wife is missing for two years. You never filed a police report. Nothing. And that was the, in the middle of the book. 130 pages into it. And and I thought maybe for a second that, oh, yeah, okay, they are going to, uh, you know, f- track down the call the police. You know, call the police. And I have my own issues with the police and everything. But, you know, this is the kind of stuff that they're there for. You know, you find a, a beat up woman on the side of the road, you call the police. You don't get her a new identity and act like everything's okay. And, uh, yeah, it was... And then the way they treated the daughter in this, too. That They have a daughter. The crazy guy who kidnapped her has a daughter. And he was trying to replace the mother. So, you know, he's crazy off his rocker. But, you know... And then just the way... I, I don't think any of these people who write these kind of books know what depression is or anxiety... Because she had depressing anxiety before, but then she got off her meds and everything was fine for two years. And that's not the way it happens. Just very unrealistic uh, show of depression and anxiety and how it is to live with that and psychosis and postpartum depression. And they not that they make light of it. It's just that they throw these words around like they... Because they, they do mean things and they affect people really badly and the way the book was written. I don't know. And then this reminded me of a lot of uh, the Don't Worry Darling movie where she was hypnotized. Spoilers for all of this. She was hypnotized too. And, you know, it's like these are women writers, you know. And even uh, I can't remember the woman who directed the Don't Worry Woman Darling. I can't remember her name. But, like, is this how women see each other? I don't know. I can't, I can't, I hope. I imagine it's not, or that I think it's insulting to women if they think that this is their intelligent level. Honestly, uh, just, yeah, bad writing. I'm going to find one of these books. I'm going to stick with these kinds of books. I'm the, the Ober Book Club books. The I find them in the Low Free Library all the time. So, and that's probably why I'm going to put this back in too, along with a couple other books. But yeah, uh, just a big fat zero for me. Just uh, and then the way they treated her daughter. Let me get to this. You know, uh, the daughter was always an afterthought. If you think about it, like they always talked about her, but they never really treated her good. You know, the dad even drugs her at some point and mind manipulates her. And then I don't think they even had it. Like whoever wrote this has never had a three year old. A three year old doesn't give a shit. <laughs> You know, especially like they have offhand, offhand lines like, oh, yeah, my daughter spent the last three months with her grandparents and she's fine. Or, you know, we, we left her with the babysitter, the nanny, the housekeeper, you know, and that's how what I think that's what really messes up these rich people. And then, you know, and then there's so many uh, uh, promotions or uh, what do they call uh, sponsors? Like you could tell Jaguar sponsored this or had some uh Name brand drops. I can't remember what they're called, but, you know, uh, they, oh, eat this kind candy bar. Eat this, you know, uh, oh, yeah, we went to Starbucks. Oh, we, you know, just this name brand kind of name drop. It's like the way when you watch the Transformers movies and they're drinking a Coca-Cola, you know. It's just very, you know, I, but this is what I guess people are reading nowadays. And, you know, uh, I don't know. Kind of, I'll find a good one eventually. But yeah, the daughter, she gets very, yeah, it goes back to that. Like the way these rich people treat their daughters. And they make it sound like, I don't know, like appealing to be rich, you know. And I guess that's every middle class woman, white woman's fantasy to become some kind of rich person, married to a doctor. And then that's the other thing. Like 
you know, they say, oh, yeah, he didn't have a missing wife. His wife, no one, you know, they, they go through the story where say, oh, yeah, uh, she's orphan. Oh, yeah, their parents died. Oh, she doesn't really have any friends. No one could be that alone, especially if you're that rich. If you're the, if you're the wife of a Stanford high-class medical professor who gets awards and everything and she goes missing, people are going to notice. Okay, there's no way. That's why I'm calling this book fantastical. There's so many, you know, and then just the way, yeah, it was very problematic. I'll find a good one eventually. I've been talking about this book too long.